Libra. Welcome to February. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome. This video is going to be a monthly telescope for February for Libra. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards here, but while I do, I want to tell you about a fun new project that I'm starting, and that is compatibility videos. So I'm going to do one for each um, combination of the sun signs and I've done one of those so far I've got it up there and then I'll be posting more throughout February so stay tuned if you would like to see those and I will just get straight into February for Libra let's see what's coming up for Libra for February okay. One more shuffle here. I'm just feeling that. Okay, that seems right. So to open things up, the first thing that comes out of the gate for February for Libra is we've got six of wands in reverse, which which means I usually read this card as though you're not being recognized for something. Um, you may be being passed over for something. Six of wands in the upright position shows someone who is the rescuer, someone who, um, you can see this wreath of laurels, which represents triumph and victory. And it's a card of success, it's a card of acclaim, it's a card of um, reputation, being acknowledged as the victor, as the person who comes in through town and everyone sees and recognizes their, you know, their victory. When it's in the reverse position, I sometimes see that as um, not being recognized for your worth or not being seen for your capabilities. Um, sometimes this can happen when you're passed over for a job promotion and I'm actually seeing that as a possibility for some of you Librans because um, Ace of Coins can often be you know, receiving new money or receiving new lifestyle which can also be tied to new job and ace especially being new money. So some of you may open February with um, not being recognized for your true value or being passed over in some way. I, whenever I see cards in reverse, it means that that um, energy is present, but in some ways it's just suppressed, it's in delay, it's in shadow, um, it's, it's sitting below the surface. So it could be that your time has just not come to be recognized and to receive the benefits in the physical world that come along with that yet. It could just be that the beginning of February, it may still be like in incubation. So it could just be in delay. But for whatever reason that's happening, um, what could help is to put yourself in a receptive position because that's what Ace of Coins is about. Ace of Coins shows the world wanting to hand us something. And in another hit that I'm getting for you is really just recognizing your own self-value and your own self-worth because until you internalize and validate your position, your capabilities, your um, status, your, you know, the fact that you can be the person coming, this is like a hero card, the hero who comes in on the white horse and saves the day. Until you acknowledge that and embrace that as part of your identity, Libra, no one can actually crown you with these laurels as the victor until you uh, are willing to put on that cloak and say, yes, this is who I am. So what I want to ask is, is there any way in which um, non-acknowledgement to yourself or having fears or doubts about receiving something is coming into play with your perceived value, not only from yourself, but from others. So see if you can, I'm just going to give you the image of putting out your hand to receive something and imagine the world giving something to you, you know, giving it, it's a physical thing. So money, assets, um, it may not be the best time to negotiate for a pay raise, but you may try to do visualizations of you, you know, having money come in um, because that's what Ace of Coins is. Whenever cards are in reverse, that energy is present for us, 
but it's just being held under the surface with fear or doubt or delay or something is causing resistance to it. I, I usually use the Abraham Hicks image of the cork being held underwater. It's not its natural state. The natural state is for the card to be in upright. So when it's in reverse, it means that something is holding it under water. If we release that resistance, that tension, anxiety, doubt, fear, whatever the resistance is, if we release that, it springs back to life and it, it sort of says, here I am, I'm ready, I'm ready to hand this to you. The divine is ready to hand you that physical thing, money, lifestyle, assets, possession, all of that. So consider that. See if you can remove the resistance or fear or doubt, whatever's going on there. Um, there's also, we have lovers in reverse. So at the opening of February, there may be some tensions with any relationships um, or feeling vulnerable, feeling like you can't really be yourself with intimates or those who you might otherwise feel close with. This card in the upright position shows two people who are being very candid with one another. They're loving, they're sensual, they're stripped naked. So they're like, this is who I really am with no pretenses, with no... Um, artifices and they're connecting hearts too they're connecting bodies and hearts and they're just being you can see they're staring into one another's eyes they're just being very present with one another and very open and there's a lot of innocence with these lilies present too so when this is before i turn it around this has to do with connection this has to do with hearts connecting with being vulnerable being open being authentic so when this card is in reverse, the question arises is how, what blocks are there to authenticity? What blocks are there to vulnerability? Um, is there a way in which either you or the person you're trying to connect with is not available to connect? Um, it's just bringing up the issues of resistance, tension, anxiety, whatever it is that you want to do with this person, emotional closeness. Um, that's what lover's energy is, and that is showing up. But just as with this card, it's sort of like being held underwater or delay, or there's a haze. There's some sort of tension, friction, um, looking through like a window pane that sort of got some dust on it that's, that's causing this to be suppressed right now. But I do see it turning around by mid-month. If you're having any difficulties with a love partner or a romance partner or someone you want to be close with, at the beginning of the month, I see by mid-month, mid-February, it's turning around. Here's, here's couple energy. This is the sun shining. This is joy. It's vitality. It's integration of the male and the female. So if there's stuff out of whack going on right now at the beginning of the month, Libra, because Libra, you're very, you're very centered upon relationships. I mean, you're the seventh sign of the Zodiac, which is about partnership. It's the definition of that. So this can, this can be like um, a consuming issue for you, Libra, and it can, it can take your attention. So rest assured that if there's difficulties, tensions, any of that, it, it, come, it comes about at the uh, center of the month. So following these things, you know, see if, there's, see if you can do some self-reflection, just see is there any way in which I'm doubting my own value? especially related to reputation, being willing to receive, or in relationships. Because by re releasing that resistance or fear or doubt, all of these spring back into the upright position. All of a sudden, status, recognition, victory, acclaim, you know, new money, new job, new relationship. I mean, sorry, new, this is the relationship. New money, new job, new assets, new possession, new lifestyle comes in, and then, you know, lovers shows up after that. So it's all good stuff, Libra. It's just that there may be a layer of doubt, fear, resistance, um, self-questioning that is just blocking these energies right now. This card here chariot shows that you will cross this finish line of whatever goal you're trying to accomplish right now chariot 
is someone who trusts their intuition. You can see these crescent moons on his shoulders here. So it means tapping into your subconscious mind and going with the flow and making changes, being adaptable. He knows where he needs to go in order to get to that final end result. You know, he's, he's able to move around obstacles. So this is when you have your left brain and the right brain balanced. This black horse represents the irrational mind, the wild side of us. It's often the more creative side and it's the passionate side. This white horse represents the, the realm of reason and practicality, um, being logical, being analytical. So the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, when these two work in tandem, you always cross the finish line. So I, I would like you to trust things that are coming up for you mentally consciously as well as acknowledge this dark horse you know this is the conscious and the shadow when carl jung has a statement that says um whatever we do not make i'm gonna i've got to get the, the saying right before i try to say it <laughs> if we i think he says something like um if we do not make the subconscious conscious we will let it rule our lives and we will call it fate. I'm not sure that that's the exact quote, but it's something like that. You can, you can do a search on that online and I'm sure I'll get the exact wording of that. But that's the kind of thing is that, you know, if we think there's just the conscious mind, if we think that we're going in one direction, this will actually pull us in circles, you know, just like a boat. If you're rowing with one oar, you can never make progress. So you have to acknowledge the shadow. You have to make friends with it. I think it was also Carl Jung who said, you know, let your shadow come over the wall. Don't try to beat it down. Make friends with it. Integrate it. That's, by the way, interesting here that this theme of integration leads to this. That, that's the reunion of the coupledom. That's it's self-integration. That's vitality, joy, the sun shining. And this is self-expression. So I'm going to encourage you, Libra, to find balance. That's actually a theme for you anyway. Librans are the scales. They are about finding balance. They are about, you know, justice, fairness, weighing two opposites, finding that, that equilibrium between opposites. So I'm going to say, honor your conscious mind as well as your subconscious mind. You know, honor the higher values of yourself. Again, funny enough, here's that white horse, right? The white horse represents um, the higher side of ourselves, the horse that, that um, carries Apollo's chariot, which is about truth, which is about, um, you know, the more noble aspects of humanity. And then there's, there's the shadow. What's interesting about chariot is that it takes both to carry this forward. If we just rely upon our subconscious mind and follow every passion and every whim, we can become capricious and we would go in circles that way. But if we just try to rely on the mind as a self unto itself, that's very limited too. That puts us in circles like going in circles in our mind. So you really have to have both to make progress, to go forward, to achieve your goals to cross that finish line. So that's, that's my offering of an opportunity to you, Libra, is find that balance between the two. Um, that's going to get you where you want to go. And then in the middle of the month, um, I see you, you know, right around Valentine's Day, you have a lot of satisfaction. This is Nine of Cups, which is all about satisfaction, wish fulfillment. Cups represent heart energy and which represents water. If you think of a cup holding water, water represents emotional energy. So this, this is like nine cups on one card. And we see this guy here in the foreground feeling very satisfied. It's almost as if he's just eaten a full meal. In fact, in some decks, I've seen there's like a full banquet on this card. So nine of cups means um, wish fulfillment, satisfaction, you know, feeling like you have all the cups that you need. Um, you can just see he's kind of glowing and rosy cheeked here. And I do see it in specifically in relation to yourself and any partnership that you may be in. For those of you Librans who are not attached, this may be, you know, a nice date or a nice time to meet someone who is like you. This is actually an image of the twins. You know, when we see the female side and the male side, this is, this is a mirror of the self. 
um, in the other gender or in the other person, I should say, your, the complement to who you are. And so this is like the sun shining on it. It's creativity, it's vitality, it's expression, it's integration. It's all those wonderful things. So when I see these two yellow sunny cards here in the middle of February for you, I, I think there could be some really nice love energy at the middle of February, and that's, that's kind of nice timing. Again, if, if there's any tension in relationships at the opening of February, just look into it. See where the resistance is. See if there's any fears or doubts. It will probably re resolve by mid-February. The, the two things that you will need to get through to get here are Hierophant and Temperance in Reverse. So interesting, more, more balancing energy. I'll talk about that in a moment. But first, Hierophant. Hierophant has to do with spiritual energies. He has to do with, if you see him holding up his hand here, he represents acknowledging the truth. And you can see these keys that are crossed at his feet. These represent secrets. These are, these are access to spiritual truths that he has been given access to through his um, position. And he has this connection to the divine. And he is able to speak to the masses, to the group, and say, this is, this is what is righteous. This is what is right relations. This is how he's really interested in morals. And he's really interested in behaviors that are right and true and correct. So he's, he's somewhat of a traditionalist and he's somewhat of a conservative. That's another theme for this card, but he's really interested in sharing with the group and with the masses here are truths from the divine about how one should act, about um, you know accessing things that are are sort of true with a capital T. Truths that you know, like I'm, I hear with this card, do unto others as you would would like done unto you. That's sort of like you know an example of a spiritual truth that that Hierophant offers. So you may want to ponder on like what are your spiritual truths? What are things that appear to be eternal for you, you know, things that, things that um, affect life here on earth and have to do with, you know, large groups of people. Um, this could be an involvement in your religion, or this could be diving into your spiritual practice. For some people, this shows up as yoga. For some people, this shows up as, um, you know, Catholicism or Islam or, you know, Judaism, Hinduism, whatever your faith is, Hierophant says, connect, go to the core of that, go into where the secrets are as far as like spiritual truths and, and dive headlong into that. That will give you, that will give you clues, again, secrets and clues about how to behave, how to act. You know, the principles is a good word for him. He's very principled. Um, and then this card, Temperance, is in reverse right now. And sometimes that can be feeling emotionally off balance. Temperance is someone who's even killed. This is the angel of peace. And, you know, interestingly, this card is somewhat androgynous. So it's part male, part female. It's not really determined, which makes sense for an angel. Um, and the angel has one card, one card, yeah, one foot in the water here and one foot on the ground. So it's emotional balance with being grounded. Um, and the angel's pouring two cups from one to another. So this is really taking the, the heart of, of one side of an issue and pouring it into the heart of the other one. And it's pouring it back and forth so that the water is the same in both cups. It's emerging. It's a synthesis. And that's actually the symbol of this triangle. It's, a, it's an alchemical reaction that with the, with the um, you know, unification or the unifying of these two different cups of the waters in both cups, we get some new third element. That's peace. That's harmony. This is the middle path. It is um, moderation. It is seeing both sides of an issue and, and seeing the middle. So this is, that's where peace comes from. That's enlightenment. It's not going too much to the left. It's not going too much to the right. It's not being fanatical this way. It's not being fanatical that way. It's finding that balance. So with this in reverse, there may be a challenge 
to finding balance as you explore spiritual truths. But it, I do show you ending up coming out of this, just feeling very satisfied, having wish fulfilled, getting that integration. So whatever challenges to integration, you may, there, you might find some road bumps is what I'm seeing with this. But as you get more serene and more calm and choose the middle path, this happens. So that's a nice, that's a nice evolution, Libra. I see this as these two very much together. Also, you know, interesting look at this square here. We have maybe challenges or tension or not feeling like you can show up as yourself or feeling fears of being vulnerable or open. Um, but then I show, you know, trusting your gut and trusting your intuition with decision making. And after you work through this stuff, you end up feeling like wish fulfillment, satisfaction, and, you know, balance here, especially within partnership and within yourself. And the sense that I'm getting, the message that I'm getting with this is that the more balance that you find within yourself, the more it goes from this, I'll say that from this in reverse, to this. So as you deal with, you know, the first two cards that come up are this and this. But as you turn this around, when you find balance and peace and serenity and harmony within yourself, becoming grounded and balance between being grounded and, and emotional balance, you get to this. And it, by the way, it's really satisfying emotionally. So work through that, Libra. Um, spirit, your spiritual practice is going to help you with that. And then towards the end of the month, we have, we have justice in reverse paired with ace of swords in the upright position. Now, this is really about truth right here. Justice has to do with weighing two sides of something. It kind of reminds you of this card here. This one's not interested in, in rendering a verdict. This one is interested in finding the commonality, finding the middle ground. It's more emotional. It's heart-based. This is definitely more mind-based because swords have to do with thought, with knowledge, with wisdom, with understanding, and with truth. So she holds the sword of the truth and she is weighing evidence. That's what justice is about, is that you know these different points of view are weighed and then a verdict is rendered. That's what we see in the justice system. That's what we see in the courts. And she's actually holding up this one sword, which is depicted here of the truth. It's the Excalibur sword. It is the I am the truth sword. When she is in reverse, there is some difficulty in rendering a verdict potentially, or it could be that there is some verdict that's rendered that is unfair or unjust. If you think of justice in reverse, that can be some sort of injustice showing up um, or having a difficult time making a decision or a decision being rendered against you that is unfair. That can be another um, interpretation of, of justice in reverse. But with this card showing up, uh, Ace of Swords, this is the truth. This is the card of the truth will set you free. This is Excalibur. This is the sword that Michael carries, Archangel Michael. And it it is the safest place to be. It is the truth. It is, um, it, it has like this saving grace kind of, it, there's a real card of grace. And it's a real card of, it's a new, I, I sometimes call this card revelation or aha. This is like when you awaken to the truth and everything's stripped away. Everything is, everything that's not, um, you know, in order just, just disappears because around the truth, it can't exist. This is like the clear light of day. This is clarity. This is insight. This is honesty. This is confronting things head on. You know, sometimes, sometimes um, the truth can be, it's a very powerful energy. So it can feel intimidating sometimes, but it's really the safest place to be. And you can align with this. This is showing up for you. The world is trying to hand this to you. So it's a, it can be a real aha moment for you or a revelation or um, clarity, it, it's a new beginning, so it's a new thought, a new idea, 
um, a new piece of knowledge or a new piece of wisdom. And if there feels like there's any injustice, stay with the truth. If it feels like, you know, something, someone has done you wrong, or if you're having a hard time uh, trying to make a decision or verdict about something, stay with the truth. The truth will lead you where you want to go. And then this, these two cards here, Page of Rods and Seven of Coins are how the month wraps up for you, Libra. Page of Rods, I see you at the end of the month feeling very enthusiastic and very inspired, very optimistic. Those are all um, Page of Rods qualities. So Page of Rods is a youth who represents fire. So it's some, if you think of someone who's like, I think of a young teenager who's just like snapping their fingers and kind of like, like bolting down the street, you know, super happy. You can tell that they're full of energy. If you think of like a hormonal teenager, that's kind of got this energy where it's like, yeah, sign me up. Let's go. Let's, let's do this. Um, Page of Rods really has that, that personality of like, yeah, let's do this. I want to try it out. I want to go next. Like, get me in the ring. I really want to try. Um, so you may be feeling at the end of the month, some enthusiasm, some new inspiration that could have to do with this new thought, new idea, revelation, aha moment, clarity, um, and page of rods, like kind of connects you to your younger, enthusiastic, optimistic self. This could potentially also be a young fire sign. So this could be like a young Sag, a young Aries. Um, a young Leo that turns up, but I really m mostly see it for most of your Libras, this is going to be you and the younger side of yourself feeling, feeling charged up. And it, it's very likely, you know, it's in line with this wish fulfillment satisfaction card. So I get the sense, especially for you, that as any relationship energy gets addressed and this comes about, you know, this is fire energy here and so is this. Um, and it's in line with this satisfaction stuff. So I kind of get towards the end of the month. You're just really enjoying that. Then, but also just one other thing is that you do have to get through this before you can get here. So you have to address what's true. Um, at the very end of the month, this is seven of coins. And this says that, especially coupled with this, it says you may have a little bit of impatience towards something. Because this guy is so rip roaring, ready to go, you know, it's sort of like his jets are fired up. I, I kind of see it as like hot off the blocks, if you know that expression. Um, this card is really the opposite of that. This is seven of coins, which is all about patience, reflection, reassessment, um, consideration of whether your actions of planting this garden are reaping the, the things that you want to um, harvest. So this is the farmer card, and obviously farmers have to pl uh, plant in advance. They plant the seeds, they tend them, they nurture them, and they grow over time. So it really is a card of waiting for the pace of nature. I forget who says that. It might be Henry David Thoreau who says, adopt the pace of nature. But that's kind of what this card is about. It's being patient, reconsidering, like, if I, if I plant these type of seeds and I get this type of plant, is that, you know, or this type of crop, is that what I want? Or do I want to plant different seeds next time? Do I want to rotate these crops? Do I want something else? Or am I happy to harvest what I'm planting? And also, am I willing to wait for the results? You know, I, I always use the example of grapes. If you try to, and in fact, the writer weight has grapes here. If you try to harvest grapes or just about anything too soon, it tastes sour, it tastes bitter. It's not, it doesn't have the nutritional value. But if you can have the patience to wait for something, it becomes sweet. It becomes fully mature. It comes, becomes fully nutritious. So with this card of patience and reassessment, you know, in reverse, it's saying you might have a hard time being patient, especially with this enthusiasm. What I'm saying is this is available to you it could be a good time to reassess things. You know, this is the more mature person than this younger person. This is the person who has done this a couple times. Um, so see if even with your unbridled enthusiasm and vigor and action and energy and, you know, all of that good stuff, inspiration that's going on, all that fire energy, see if you can take a moment to ground yourself and be patient 
and make some, you know, long range decisions. Cause this guy's like a oh, spur of the moment, whatever feels good, you know, let's go. This guy's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to think this through. Where am I going to plant the carrots? Where am I going to plant the corn? Where am I going to, you know, he, he has a plan, man with the plan. This guy doesn't. So that's an opportunity for you at the end of the month. Try to try to embrace that enthusiasm, inspiration, but see if you can do it in a grounded way and, you know, have a plan, have a long term, a long range plan. So that's my reading for you, Libra, for February. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Libra who you think you might enjoy the message. And if you'd like to book a reading with me and get a personal reading or check out my tarot course through Daily Ohm, I will have a link at the end of the video to my website. You can check those things out there. And as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. Yours in the stars.